What's going on everyone? Gilman with Levalti Stocks back with our daily Apple update video where we take a look at how Apple stock traded today, key levels of support and resistance that we are looking at moving into the future and based on that what we think Apple stock could do. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what your thoughts on Apple are and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So let me hit record and we will get right into it. A red day for Apple today, red day in the markets overall. Um, with the amount that we ran up yesterday, you know, I was expecting a little bit of a pullback. Granted, this is a little bit more of a pullback than I was hoping for, but nonetheless, we have a red day. We are down $2.67 on the day, which is about 2.09%. Now, there's a couple things that I want to that I want to cover before we get right into kind of taking a look, um, you know, at the the pure stock uh, and support and resistance levels. And that is, you know, two things, one of which I talked about yesterday, um, which is Apple services business. And I think that, you know, while the iPhone business is always going to be their bread and butter and Mac and iPad and, you know, all those sales are going to keep increasing. I think services is going to be a, a big part of Apple's, um, you know, uh, revenue. I'm just blanking today. Um, revenue moving forward. Right. Um, so subscriptions offering in music, video, gaming, and fitness, amongst other things, are, are going to be, I think, what takes, you know, kind of the charge um, in the upcoming year. So we take a look at, you know, the revenue jumped 24% to $15.7 billion. Um, you know, the March quarter are looking good as well. Um, Apple store revenue grew 30% for another strong month. Um, and so, you know, that's that's what we're expecting. We're getting 30% uh, up after gains of 40% in January, right? So great, great, you know, numbers there for Apple. Um, it's gonna decelerate to 16% in the March quarter, um, but still 16% is a really, really nice growth number. Um, so that's what we're hoping for. And they're, they're projecting, right, or not they, um, this analyst is projecting a 19% compounded growth rate through the September 2024 fiscal year, at which revenues will be more than a hundred billion dollars, right? So it's absolutely crazy to think about. Um, but you know, like I said, right, Apple Music is you know one of the things um, we take a look at. Apple Fitness, once that's you know really starts to take off, um, we talk about iCloud, uh, we talk about Apple Pay, all these things um, that once you sign up for, the cost of switching is definitely high. And so a lot of people, once they're kind of locked in. Um, will not go anywhere, right? So that's what we're hoping for. Um, this person has an overweight waiting in 163 price target. I don't know, Apple, we gotta get up there soon, um, but hopefully, you know, we see we see those days soon. Yesterday was very promising. Um, today is a little bit of a pullback, so it's really how we move from here. That, that'll determine where Apple goes next. The other thing I wanna talk about is, you know, why are some stocks down today? And that is because of, you know, people moving money around, right? So you take a look at, Apple and Tesla being down, but materials and energy companies um, are climbing, right? Because they're they're talking about uh, so there's a rotation going on between um, the stocks that had done well in the coronavirus pandemic and then the stocks that are still actually a little bit down, even though a lot of the market has recovered. There are some stocks that are still down. Travel is one of them, right? Energy is another one. Um, so there's money flowing in there as we get closer and closer to a full reopen. That doesn't necessarily mean that people are pessimistic about, um, you know, tech. It just means they're more optimistic about everything else. Um, so that's what we're seeing, guys. And the other thing that we're seeing um, is with uh, the stimulus approval, um, you know, that, that's what's causing the materials and energy companies to rise. So that's what I wanted to cover real quick. Um, with that being said, let's get right into the video and see what we see. So a little bit of a gap down, right? We were pushing up um, after I made the video, we closed in the 127s, we pushed up, we gapped down all the way to our next level. Um, but it made, it was very clear that, you know, I really wanted that 128.54, but potentially got the second rejection there, right? So one was in the after hours yesterday, one was in the pre-market today. So we fell, and that's something that I talked about in yesterday's video, right? I said, hey, Apple's probably going to do that thing where it just falls at the open and then bounces and pushes up. We got the, I got the first half of that, right? Unfortunately, though, when we went down, we bounced kind of broke below it, try to bounce again. Um, and then VWAP rejected us, right? And then we broke below our 126 level. 
And if you guys are new to my channel, um, these lines that we have are levels of support, which means if, let's say, you are coming down, right, a level of support means that's a line you can expect the stock to turn around and maybe go sideways um, or even up. And if, if it's resistance, you know, we're hitting up against it and then it'll be, um, you know, not able to kind of go through that point. So once a once we are above a level, right, that's a support, but once we break below it, then that level is gonna be resistance because we might not be able to come back into that level, which is exactly what we see here, right? So once we break below this 126.65, we came right back down, hit up against it, didn't quite make it, and from that point on, it was weakness throughout the course of the day. Here we made a push towards the VWAP, but then uh, you know we were not able to make it. Now, if you guys don't understand VWAP, it's the volume weighted average price line. I have to say that really slowly, otherwise I mess it up. And I've made a video on it, so feel free to check that video out. I use it you know, a lot on a intraday basis. I think it's very powerful in, in the way, uh, in, in kind of getting an idea of where the stock could be headed. So. If you wanna know more about that, check that out. What I liked about today um, is, you know, this this kind of push pre-market, um, but other than that, it was a relatively weak day um, and a relatively boring day too, right? Stock market wasn't doing a whole lot of anything today. Um, what I don't like is, again, also the fact that we're below VWAP, the fact that we didn't, you know, we weren't able to break through this 126 line once we broke below it. So not a terrible day, but also not the best day that we've seen in a while. So let's now take a look at um, you know the, the daily chart and we'll see what we see in terms of future levels of support and future levels of resistance. So let's zoom in here and see what we see. So one thing I wanna point out you guys is although it is a red day, we did make a higher high than yesterday, right? Yesterday's high was 127.93, today's high was 128.72. We did make a higher low. Yesterday's low was 122.79, and today's low was 125. So at least we got some positive out of a still decently red day. We're pushing up in the after hours, 13 cents. So we'll see how that goes too, right? Let's talk about future levels of support, future levels of resistance, and we'll see what we have coming up. So here, what we see is, um, if you first level of support, let's talk the downside first. If we keep dropping tomorrow, the first level that I'm watching is the 123.69, um, and then I'm watching for a push towards 121.48. Between that, I'm watching yesterday's low of 122.79, right? So those are the three levels I'm watching on the downside. 123.69, 122.79, and then 121.48 if we continue down. However, if we do see a turnaround like I'm hoping for, um, first level is at 126.65, um, then 128.54, and then 130.34. Let me take you guys back to yesterday um, where we broke above this 126 level. You see how we hit up against it, take a little bit and go up. Today, we came below it again, hit up against it, couldn't go up. Um, so again, hoping that tomorrow we have the uh, strength to break back through that level. Again, a lot of it depends on the overall market strength, um, which just wasn't there today, right? If we compare that to the NASDAQ, we're down about 1.69%. Dow Jones was down 140 points, 0.44%. And S&P was also down 0.78%. So, you know, Apple wasn't, Apple was relatively a little bit more weak than those percentages I laid out, but still, you know, all the indexes were red as well. So that's what we have on the downside. Again, on the upside, hoping for a push towards 126 and then 128, um, which would kind of match today. If we can do that by, let's say, tomorrow, then maybe we push towards 130. Don't know if we're gonna crack it, but we push towards 130 later on this week. Um, but in order to do that, we need to get through 126 and make it push towards the 128 level. So that's what I'm hoping for tomorrow, assuming markets are green. If not, we can see continued weakness down to the 123 level. Another thing I want to point out is I've talked about this multiple times, this 89 exponential moving average um, that I look at. And the reason I look at it is because Apple Apple rarely, rarely goes to visit it. Um, we have not really closed below it in a while, going all the way back to um, either the coronavirus pandemic, right, which every stock was not doing well, um, or this time back in May 2019. So it's been like, what, 20, 21 months, um, almost two years so hoping that you know we sometime this week get above this 126.03 level for good and then start to respect that level we broke below it today sadly after you know spending a couple days or 
actually most of last week below it, um, got above it Monday and now we're back below it. So again, that's a key level we need to capture even if we don't move towards that 126.60s level that I talked about earlier, 126.03 with the 89 exponential moving average is a pretty, pretty important level for us to, you know, kind of capture. Establish that as a good level of support, that and the eight exponential moving average and really start to push up. That's what I'm hoping for you guys. I'll, as always, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I think, you know, hopefully we see a little bit of a turnaround in the markets. I'm not I'm not wanting like a 4%, 5% green day. I'm wanting kind of a slow, steady rise up so we can establish a solid level of support rather than going up, you know, a ton one day and down the same amount the next, right? Although, you know, Apple didn't necessarily do that. It's just um, clear trends are better and more fun to trade in, whether it's an uptrend or downtrend. Um, but in markets like this, it's just very choppy either way. So hope you guys are having an amazing start to your week. Uh, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about Apple, and I'd love to share with you guys down there. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you want to sign up for Webull, link will be in the description. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day, and until next time.